Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. I am Ufida and I'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel. So another day, another video with my scarf. I'm laying my edges as usual, but today I have some exciting stuff to try with you guys. I got my hands on the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation and I got the Fenty Beauty um, Gloss Balm Cream. So I'm going to be trying these two with you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys my um, powder foundation routine, how I would apply powder foundation and so definitely you're going to be skipping the liquid foundation phase of the makeup routine and it's definitely um, you know exciting to have this in hand because this is Fenty Beauty, this is Soft Smart, this is by Rihanna and it has so many claims to say that it's going to make your face you know have like a flawless filter effect and it's as light as air and it's also medium to full coverage all these claims on one box let's see how these actually play out and i'm actually super excited about this one because i've been dying to try them on i've seen a lot of swatches so yeah I'm going to be pairing them with other Fenty Beauty products I own. So yeah, if you want to see how this video goes down, carry on watching and let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start off by priming my skin with a Milk Hydro Grip Primer. If you guys can hear any noise is there's construction going on in my neighbor's house so um, kindly ignore that <laughs> I'm going to go over the milk primer with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter primer as well this is the soft matte version so I'm just going to be applying that at the center of my face and right underneath my eyes just cause this primer has like a blurring effect Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead straight into concealer. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have the shade Deep and the shade Tan Sand. Um, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because this is like a fast drying matte formula and it's also very, very full coverage. I need a full coverage on my face because I don't know how full coverage this Fenty Beauty Powder is. So I'm going to go straight ahead and apply this um, concealer underneath my eyes this is very very close to my skin tone so I'm going to use this to color correct as well as you know conceal the areas on my face that need the help I have a few blemishes on my face so that is what I'm going to be doing So I'm going to go straight away and blend everything out using my brush from Real Techniques. I really love this concealer it's a fantastic concealer if you want full coverage and like your skin is super oily it's very very fantastic so for the next step I'm going to go ahead and apply my contour products which is the black opal stick foundation technically this is a foundation but this is I'm not using this uh, as a function of a foundation. I'm just using it as a uh, contour slash uh, sculpting product. So I'm just blending it out with the Real Techniques um, sculpting brush. So for my next step, I'm going to be highlighting. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan Sand. This is 
a lighter um, version of the foundation I used to color correct earlier so I'm just going to be applying that under my eyes the mustache area the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my forehead just like so and I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with a beauty blender I'm using the beauty blender from Evita Joseph Now I'm going to go ahead and um, contour my nose with the same contour product that uh, I have been using or I used earlier. And I'm just going to uh, blend it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and just blend around the area where the highlight products might have traveled across just to bring everything back to the center of the face. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes and wherever I apply the concealer with the Fenty Beauty setting powder in the shade Honey. I'm just going to use the Beauty Blender to push that in just cause I crease a lot. Now I got a question in the comment section uh, whilst the live was on with my last video asking how do you set um, your or prevent uh, your eye, under eyes from creasing. Now this is how I do it. Before I set my under I, I always you know go in for one last blend because I am so prone to creases under my eyes so I have to blend it out one last time just cause you know just cause I don't want to set any creases in just light-handedly I would dip my beauty blender into the powder which I'm going to set my under eyes with and just you know um push it right into my under eyes as soon as I blend it out because once the um, concealer sits there a little longer it's going to start to crease and once it starts to crease if you don't blend it out before setting it you are going to set creases under your eyes so for those of us who are so prone to creases under our eyes this is how to prevent it as you can see everything is well set i'm going to go ahead and set my forehead lightly as well so i'm going to let you guys watch me do my brows and i'm gonna come back and we can go straight into the powder foundation review
okay guys so I am back I just put some bronzer on my eyes I use the uh, mocha mommy from Fenty Beauty all over my eyes and I applied my lashes and I'm you know baking underneath my eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder so now the time has come I'm just going to open this up like I said I'm in the shade 390 with the foundation um, as you guys can see this is the pro filter soft matte um, foundation so as you can see I'm in the shade 390 this is what it looks like very very nice packaging it comes with the Fenty Beauty logo in it and it looks really really nice really warm color and it comes with like a puff or like a sponge underneath which I'm not going to use and it has like uh, two mirrors in it it looks really really nice so in comparison I'm going to compare this to this this is a little more yellow um, in liquid form than in powder form this is definitely this definitely looks a little more lighter than usual I'm going to compare at the back of my hand as you guys can see this definitely looks a little more redder than this one this is a little more yellow I don't know if it's because it's wet but they are very very close as you can see they are very very close so I'm going to be using the um, powder foundation um, all over my face I applied concealer and I contoured so I'm going to be applying it you guys are going to see I definitely have some blemishes still peeking through on my face you're going to test the full coverageness of this um, powder foundation and everything else about it i don't know if i'm going to include a wear test but i definitely don't want to be wearing makeup for long today because i because i don't feel like it honestly so yeah let me wipe this off my hand so when it comes to applying powders um all over the face like setting your foundation you know you would like to use like a fluffy brush like this this is the powder brush from real techniques you see this brush is dense but it's not as dense like it doesn't give like a fuller coverage but if you want like a full 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 coverage from a powder you have to use a brush like probably this one probably this one or this one as you can see it's very very con con packed and it's it means it's going to pack on a lot more product this is also a brush from Evita Joseph you know it's very very compact which means it's going to give you like a full light to pick up more products and stamp more products on your face so you definitely need like a compact brush if you are going to be using a powder foundation on its own rather than using it to set your foundation I don't know if I'm making any sense hopefully I do so I'm going to be uh, you know applying this product on my face I'm just going to put ooh, wow so I'm just going to push it into my skin like so it definitely looks a little more yellow than my actual shade in the foundation but it's not a bad match at all I don't know if you guys can see it's definitely not a bad match at all and it's giving me like the coverage that I want I like the texture it's not like you know how you apply some powders and then it looks like it's accentuates the texture on your skin like this is not like that at all like this is amazing like you see I have some texture here but it's not as visible like it looks very very nice it looks very very nice so I'm gonna be going in with a beauty blender um, I'm going in with the Evita Joseph Beauty Blender. I'm just going to, you know, rub it into the powder foundation to see if it's going to give me like a, a fuller coverage. I'm going on to this side with it. Yep, the sponge des definitely does it. Like the sponge gives you like a much, much, much fuller coverage. Like. The sponge gives you a very very full coverage like a very nice even coverage like with one swatch it gives like a very even coverage wow did you guys see that oh the coverage is amazing 
it's actually full coverage oh like it's it's so full coverage like well it depends on the tool you are using but this is definitely very yellow like it's very very yellow this is definitely very yellow but i'm going to you know use a brush and just you know set the rest of my face I definitely really like the coverage of this stuff like and it doesn't feel heavy at all like it feels amazing so guys I definitely like this stuff it's very full coverage it's very very yellow <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell on camera but this stuff is bomb I really like it. it's like a comfortable matte formula like a very comfortable matte. It's not like matte drying formula, but this stuff is actually really, really, really bomb. So I'm going to go ahead and bronze with the Fenty Beauty um, bronzer in the shade Coconutty. Now I'm going to go ahead and bronze my nose as well. Now I'm going to do some reverse contouring um, slightly just cause I want my face to look a little more sculpted. You can definitely skip this part. You can definitely, definitely skip this part. Please do. I don't want anybody in the comment section telling me, oh my God, this is definitely too much for me. Please girl, just skip it. Just skip it. It's so unnecessary to, you know, pack on all this powder. So um, for blush, I'm going to use the Mocha Mami. I love this as a blush. It's like really red and it's so pretty. I really love it as a blush. Like comparing the Mocha Mami to the um, Coconutty, this is a very pretty um, bronzer on my skin. This is a very, very pretty blush. This is how much I'm going to be applying. Now I'm going to dust off this powder. I definitely really, really like this powder foundation. So let's see how it plays out with um, setting spray. So for my lips, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty uh, Gloss Balm Cream in the shade Fenty Glow. And I'm going to be lining my lips with the Colored Rain um, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tootsie. So um, I'm going to go over with the Fenty um, Gloss Balm Cream. This stuff is definitely on the oily side. Like it's glossy and not sticky at all. I'm, I really, really like this and it's very comfortable to wear. I love this stuff. So for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty um, Cognac Candy. Cognac Candy, I don't know. Oh my God. I literally just put my finger in it. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, um, that was bound to happen. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it into my inner corner. And the bridge and tip of my nose and um, definitely I'm going to apply it on the high points of my cheeks this is a very glittery formula but it's so pretty
so guys we've come to the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today i definitely loved the new products i tried out fenty is killing it this is definitely on the more yellow side for me even though i'm in the same shade in the foundation but this is definitely full coverage this is definitely soft matte and this is definitely very very completely comfortable to wear i'm going to definitely uh, be using it on this channel for you guys to see and this stuff is the bomb i love it it's very comfortable and it's so pretty i don't know if you guys can see i'm i'm enjoying it hmm. fancy beauty i i love fancy beauty this was I loved everything I used. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everything I used will be listed down in the description box. You can go ahead and ask me any questions down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.